And for Frank and Michael, I think this is, you know, you know, just going into that on the basic, you know, more of the structural biology side or general biology side, maybe is a better way to frame it. We do see that even with things like AlphaFold, where some of the weights are restricted or you might need additional licensing. As we're looking to build out imaging data sets, digital pathology data sets, many of these often having a lot of cost in terms of storage and management. Any thoughts on moving forward, how we might be able to enable some sharing of that and not need to reproduce, re-image, or rebuild those models from scratch? Maybe I start by uh, adding on what you said before, that I actually agree it's, it's not about big data, it's not about quantity, it's about quality and speed, and being able to, to think through what are the patterns we're trying to, to basically learn from the data we're getting. And the faster we can make these iterative feedback loops, uh, often called uh, reinforcement training and other models that are more than just a one-time prediction, but have these feedback loops. I, I think that's basically where, where we, can, we can get the most value uh, out of, of, of the application. So that's a little bit kind of a general statement. Yeah, I think that there are technical approaches to solving this problem. I think people are trying to break down data silos. Obviously, from a competitive perspective, it's been challenging, but there are kind of pre-competitive consortia that have been uh, you know, put together with uh, approaches like federated learning to try to improve data sharing of proprietary data. I think one of the questions that Wade asked around imaging data sets in particular is that the US does not have a good data repository for storing these kinds of data, uh, partly because of the size, but I think partly just because there hasn't been as much appreciation of the quality of the signal that these kinds of data provide. Part of it is building technologies to be able to extract those kinds of insights. Uh, but to the point where we have another you know, SRA, for instance, which is the repository for genomic analysis, that we can actually have corresponding analogs of that, where all NIH-funded projects end up having to deposit imaging data into a centralized repository, I think that that is going to be really hard to, uh, until we get to that point, it's going to be really hard to account on large-scale data sets to come to fruition. Hopefully there are NIH-funded studies and going too. forward. <laughs> stay, stay positive. <laughs>